Hey, beer tubers! This is Ryan back with another episode of San Diego Beer Blog. Thanks for joining me. Once again, we have another cork bottle and another beer from New York. I didn't plan on this being a New York beer week, but that's the way it turned out. This is Oma Gang's Zuer, which, if I gather from the bottle, means sour and possibly Flemish. This is a Flemish sour brown ale. It's a collaboration, actually, between Oma Gang and I believe Leafman's. Yeah, so. Uh, Oma Gang apparently is a part of, of Duval and their whole line of breweries. But uh, this is one of the few beers I can actually get from New York. Uh, we get Oma Gang and I believe we get the, the Genesee Cream Ale and that's it for New York breweries as far as I'm aware. If you're out there in Southern California, I say Southern because I think Northern California has some different di distributors, but yeah, I think that's about it for New York beers that we actually get out here. Get this cage off, get this thing popped. I don't, I'm gonna try to uh, keep the yeast in the bottle. So not much of a pop, but a decent amount of CO2 coming off the top of that bottle. Oh yeah, it's pouring a nice Flemish brown. Uh, this is definitely a style that I've recently got in, gotten into and really enjoy. Nice tartness from these beers. Make for good uh, summertime beers, or any time. Anyway, this is a 6% beer, which is about in the range for the style. And, um, yeah, it's it's kind of a brown. It's a very light brown. I get a lot of red notes in there, like a, a maroon-colored beer. Some red, uh, ruby red tinges. Didn't get much of a head. There's a decent amount of carbonation coming. About half a finger of uh, kind of a off-white head on that. Get the nose on it. So I get some cherry notes on the nose. This beer is brewed with cherries, so you get that kind of like a tart cherry. There's some yeast character in there as well that you kind of get with a lot of Belgian styles, like a like a spicy yeast character. Um, not a whole lot to it. Pretty pretty simple um, nose on this beer. So I'm ready to go. I'm digging. Cheers. Oh yeah, ton of ton of tartness up front. Very um, very mouth puckering this one. I mean, I, I don't drink a whole lot of sour, so I don't know how this compares to you know the most tart ones out there. But this is definitely up there for me. So this one I get a ton of tartness up front, not too much bitterness, which is which is nice. Um, it's got a very uh, wine like character, very vinous. And some of its flavors, it's it's kind of like a carbonated red wine, kind of verging on that, but with that a little more like cherry fruitness in there. But this type of beer, it takes a while for my palate to adjust to that tartness, and once it does, it tends to bring out more more of the flavors that are going on in the base of this beer. A bit of a like an apple juice kind of sweetness, or maybe more like a cider, kind of like a sweeter cider character to it. And it leaves a slight bit of lingering finish, not completely dry, but it is on the dry side. And being on the dry side, it makes it sort of like a very clean beer. It kind of just comes in, hits you up front with that tartness, kind of leaves a little bit of lingering kind of cherry, vinous kind of sweetness towards the end, and then it's almost completely gone. So I'm going to let this one warm up, and I'll get back to you. Finishing up with this beer, um, unfortunately as it warmed up, as my palate got used to it, there wasn't a whole lot of complexity coming out of it. It just kind of stayed at the course where it was cold and early on, except for your palate just more to the tartness. So it doesn't seem as, as sour and mouth puckering it, the more you drink it. So I'm going to have to give this one a, a B-. minus. Um, I do really like it. it. I think it's above average beer, but it's, it's on the lower end because it lacks the complexity of a lot of the other kind of Flemish reds. The Dutch de Bourgogne, the, uh, the, even the Monk's Cafe is kind of around this territory. Um, I mean, if you compare it to even like the Russian River Wild Ales, those are much more complex than this one. Um, but I, I still really enjoy it. It's still a very, a very nice beer from Ohm Gang. I'll be doing more of their beers since I can get them in California. So, 
Zur gets a B minus from me today. Uh, please comment, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, cheers.